In this Say Corner video, I'm going to compare various flash for color and exposure accuracy. These days, the market is flooded with so many brands of flash, from really cheap eBay specials all the way to high-end strobes costing thousands of dollars. There are many factors that you need to consider when deciding on a brand. These include build quality, support and repairs, modifier availability and cost, color accuracy, exposure accuracy, recycle time, portability, flash duration, and much more. In this video, I am going to compare color accuracy and exposure accuracy across all the different flash brands that I own. If there is a different brand or model of light you would like added to this list, let me know in the comments below. If there is enough interest in particular brands or models, I will make a second video with all the additions. So first, let's have a look at the setup of how this test was done. To make sure that the tests were consistent, I had the camera set up on a tripod with a light stand next to the camera on which all the strobes were placed and triggered remotely. The camera and flash were both set to manual and I dialed in the exposure using my light meter. Every photo taken was of the color checker and the light meter. The color checker was used to determine the white balance accuracy and the light meter was used to determine the exposure accuracy. The white balance reading was also taken from the exact same spot on the gray card to further increase accuracy of the results. 10 images were then taken with each light, allowing two seconds for the lights to recycle. I own two of the Godox TT685, the Nikon SB910 and the Elenchrom BRX500, so in those cases I ran the test for the second time to test the light accuracy across multiple units. Now photography books, as well as the flash white balance preset on your camera, will have you believe that all flash are daylight balanced, which is approximately 5500 Kelvin. In fact, when you set your white balance to the flash preset, your camera will set your white balance to a 5500 Kelvin. So let's have a look at the results. Let's start with the average white balance of each light. As you can see from the results, white balance varies greatly from 5140 to 6620 depending on the brand and model of the light. That's a difference of almost 1500 Kelvin, which is huge. This means that just setting your camera to a flash white balance preset will not get you the correct white balance in most cases. It gets even worse when you start mixing flash from various manufacturers. That's why it is so important to use tools like a white balance card or a color checker. Without it, it's just a guessing game. Now if you want to learn more about what a color checker is and how it works, check out my video on the color checker linked in the description below. So looking at the results again, one positive we can see is that each manufacturer is fairly consistent with their white balance. I realize that the sample size is quite small for some of the manufacturers, however it is clear that Ellen Chrome lights are the most white balance neutral at around 5700 Kelvin and Broncolor are the warmest around 5200 Kelvin. The Nikon SB910 seems to be the most offset from the 5500 Kelvin, and of the two speed lights that I own, they seem to vary a fair bit, which is a little disappointing. Maybe I can borrow some SB910s from other photographers and do this test again at some point. We can also see that the four speed lights consistently sit above 6000 Kelvin, making them the coolest of the lot. So these results are the average values over 10 exposures. Again, for all the statisticians out there, I know this is a small sample size, however the results were very consistent. So let's have a look at the white balance variance over 10 consecutive exposures. As you can see, almost all flash tested were within a 50 Kelvin variance, which is great to see. That 50 Kelvin is the total variance, not a plus or minus, making the variance from average so small you would never be able to tell the difference visually, no matter how amazing your eyes are. Once upon a time, color consistency played a huge part when deciding which brand of light you want to use. These days, technology has caught up significantly, as you can see from this graph, so color consistency no longer plays a pivotal role in flash selection. It is good, however, to be aware of the color temperature of your flash when mixing light sources or balancing for ambient light. Finally, let's have a look at exposure accuracy. For this test, I had the light meter next to the gray card measuring every exposure across every light. I had the light meter in the shot to give me a record of all the exposures. 
Now before I get comments below that the light meter can't react fast enough to display the reading in the photo being taken, I am aware of that. The meter displays the last metered exposure as it waits for the flash to fire again, so I knew that the exposure in each photo related to the previous image. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at the results. All flash were within a tenth of a stop. Given the margin of error we're working with, since the light meter's accuracy is a tenth of a stop, I would say that all the flash in the tests are just as good as each other with no clear winner. There are lights I would love to add to this test which I just don't have at the moment. If there is enough interest, I will try and borrow or hire some other brands and do this test again. The takeaway message here is that the term daylight balance is a very loose term and relying on your camera's presets may not give you the desired results. Like everything in life, for best results you need the right tools. For accurate colour, the tools you need are a white balance card or colour checker to determine the neutral white balance and shooting in RAW so you can adjust your white balance in post. Thanks for watching this Tech Corner video. Please comment below with any questions and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos.